Thank you for joining me on this episode of Highway Spec. My name is Trent. We're going to jump right into it and build the new Ford Ranger Raptor. The new Ranger has a totally new design, which has been seen throughout the world. We're getting it a couple of years late here in the United States, but the Raptor, now that is something else. The Raptor comes with a three liter EcoBoost V6, making 405 horsepower, which for its size category is really not bad. And of course it comes with the usual Raptor accoutrements. It comes with a different suspension, different wheel and tire setup, different fenders, different grill, it looks the part of the Raptor, but today we're gonna build one out the way I would spec it out, and I wanna see how you would spec it out too, so make sure to stay to the end and drop a comment of what you would do differently. So first we have to pull up the website here. We've got the 2024 Ranger. We're gonna go ahead and build and price one out. And there it is, the Raptor, starting at $55,365. That really is not bad. So like we mentioned, some suspension difference. It's got the wider track. It's got more ground clearance. It has the Raptor look to it with that big Ford across the grill. I think this looks really sharp. Looking sharp. And personally, considering the price, I think it's a great deal. Now that is with a caveat of the MSRP price. Good luck with that. Chances are the first few are not gonna be selling for that. <laughs> But the first thing we have to do with any new build, we have to pick out a color. And this green, I'm not huge on greens, but the shelter green doesn't look too bad. I do think it needs a brighter color like we did with a Ford F-150 Raptor that we built, where I ended up choosing the code orange color because I think that thing is awesome. You don't get that on this. They do offer the hot pepper red metallic. Not gonna go with that one. This is actually a color that I have seen in person on a new Raptor R, and it is incredible looking. The Azure Gray Metallic Tricoat, $995 option, but I really do like it. I'm also kind of drawn towards the Velocity Blue Metallic. I think that looks really good as well. And then of course, if you want a more sinister look, the standard Shadow Black looks great. But for me, like I said, I gotta choose something a little bit more bold. So I think I'm actually gonna go with this Velocity Blue Metallic. Now, of course, they all come with the same EcoBoost motor and full-time four-wheel drive. They do have locking front and rear axles, and it all comes with a standard equipment group, advanced towing package, so there's not a whole lot of options if you haven't gathered that yet. So you can get beadlock-capable wheels, which I think do look pretty nice. Those are gonna be a $1,500 option. Me personally, I think I'm gonna stick with the standard wheel because I'll probably do something different with an aftermarket wheel. Come standard with 33-inch tires. Some people were hoping for 35s, but that's what the F-150 Raptor comes standard with, so they gotta have some sort of separation there. Now this Raptor decal I really like on the F-150, but on this, being a smaller vehicle, I think it actually is a little bit too busy. It still has the big Raptor on the side of the truck, so I think I'm gonna skip over the decal. I am going to add the spray-in bed liner because it's a truck. You don't wanna open the bed and see just scratches everywhere. And because I have found this very handy in my own personal use, we are gonna add the Secure Code Keyless Entry Keypad. Next up, we get into the interior, and this thing looks awesome. Ford has been doing a really good job with their interiors lately, and I think this fits in that mold as well. It's definitely a smaller truck than an F-150, so you're not gonna really fit five people in there, so they have a little bit of a bolster there on the back seat, and I think that's okay because, like I said, it's not a very huge back seat. But you do have this giant vertical screen in the center stack and a completely digital gauge cluster. Knowing Ford systems, I think they're both gonna be easy to use and operate. And it does come standard with the Bang & Olufsen sound system, 10 speakers with a subwoofer, satellite radio, all that stuff. So really, there weren't many options for us to choose. It came down to the color and a couple of small things. And there's our total, $57,550, which is a bargain, in my opinion, for something that is capable off-road and not in the way a Jeep Wrangler is capable, something that can handle the whoops, something that can handle some of the higher speed off-road driving. So provided you can get one for MSRP, what would you do differently on the Ford Ranger Raptor than what I did? I've got the Velocity Blue paint, I've got the standard wheels, a couple of minor options to it. 
I wanna hear what you would do differently, but if you're liking these types of videos, make sure to subscribe for more videos here on Highway Spec, and I will catch you on the next one.